Innovation that will once and for all make electric vehicles the obvious and only choice over internal combustion engines. To sell more than 50% electrified cars by 2025 and more than 80% by 2030. Porsche is known for producing some of the most exhilarating gas-guzzling vehicles in the world. But now the German automaker is looking to make a mark in the electric vehicle industry with a new groundbreaking battery. A lot of companies have been working to bring solid-state batteries into the market and they have promised various amounts of ranges, but none of them compare to what Porsche has just announced. What has Porsche just announced and will it be able to deliver on its promise? Join us as we discuss this and more in this article. Join us as we discuss Porsche's new solid-state battery. The spotlight on environmental consciousness has catalyzed a race among global automakers to assert dominance in the electric vehicle market. And in this competitive landscape, Porsche has emerged as a trailblazer, setting the bar exceptionally high. Renowned for its sleek and high-performance sports cars, Porsche is making a strategic pivot towards a sustainable future. The German company has announced a new electric car prototype, which boasts a remarkable drive range of up to 800 miles in a single charge. This achievement not only represents a significant leap forward in EV technology, but also underscores the deepening investment of leading car manufacturers in shaping the future of electric vehicles. Porsche's foray into an 800-mile range on a single charge challenges preconceived notions about the limitations of electric vehicles. The extended range addresses one of the primary concerns of consumers, the fear of running out of battery power during longer journeys. With this breakthrough, Porsche aims to eliminate the need for frequent charging stops and reduce the anxiety of drivers who worry about finding charging stations along their routes. Moreover, the longer range also opens up new possibilities for exploring remote destinations that may not have easy access to electricity. The electric car prototype is based on Porsche's Taycan model, which was launched in 2019 as the company's first all-electric vehicle. The Taycan has received rave reviews from critics and customers alike earning accolades such as the World Performance Car 2020 and the World Luxury Car 2020. The Taycan has a range of up to 279 miles on a single charge, which is already impressive compared to other electric vehicles in the market. However, Porsche is not satisfied with resting on its laurels and is constantly striving to push the boundaries of innovation. And so, Porsche is intensifying its investment in solid-state battery technology, aiming to develop a battery with 50% greater energy density. This advancement translates to a significantly longer charge-holding capability compared to most other electric vehicles and could also contribute to faster charging times. Although these enhanced batteries are not yet integrated into a available cars, their incorporation is anticipated in the near future. Dr. Fabian Duffner, a partner in Advanced Technologies at Porsche Consulting, believes that solid-state batteries are game changers. According to him, these batteries have the potential to revolutionize not only the automotive industry, but also enable the electrification of aircraft. Their key benefits include longer ranges, quicker charging times, and improved safety. Importantly, they offer car makers the opportunity to reduce reliance on Asian cell producers sooner. It's worth noting that, unlike major producers of traditional lithium-ion batteries, many leaders in solid-state battery technology are startups based in the USA. Duffner cautions against euphoria, however. Solid-state batteries are not a sure thing, he states. Numerous challenges, both technical and economic, need to be mastered before industrial production can begin. He outlines six primary areas of focus, enhancing production and material properties, transitioning production to large-scale standards, integrating batteries into vehicle systems, establishing resilient supply chains for new materials and machinery, reducing production cost, and securing funding for series development and scale-up stages. So why are all these automakers suddenly gunning for solid-state batteries? What are the main advantages of solid-state over lithium-ion batteries? Surveys by market researchers consistently show that customers want electric cars to meet the following three main criteria – long ranges, short charging times, and overall price tags comparable to those of combustible cars. Additional demands on the batteries have to do with their drive power, safety, and longevity. If electric cars can, in fact, be mass-produced with solid-state batteries, they would meet all these criteria.
This would be possible thanks to solid electrolytes, which function as separators between the anodes and the cathodes. With chemically stable solid electrolytes, the graphite currently used to store energy could be replaced by other materials, such as lithium metal, whose storage capacity is 10 times that of graphite by weight. The higher energy density would considerably increase battery volume for the same energy content, which in turn would enable ranges to realistically exceed 800 miles as early as 2030. According to Dr. Tim Holm, Chief Technology Officer, QuantumScape, I believe solid-state lithium metal batteries will deliver a step-change improvement in performance compared to today's lithium-ion batteries. Adoption will skyrocket when electric vehicles are equipped with batteries that deliver higher energy density, faster charging times, and enhanced safety. That's what we're trying to bring to the market. According to a study by Porsche Consulting, the adoption of solid-state batteries could lead to a 40% reduction in the cost of electric vehicles by 2030, making them more affordable and competitive with combustion cars. The study also predicts that solid-state batteries could enable electric vehicles to achieve a charging time of 12 minutes for an 80% charge, which is comparable to the time needed to refuel a combustion car. Moreover, the study estimates that the solid-state batteries could improve the drive power of electric vehicles by 25%, making them more agile and responsive. The study also highlights the benefits of solid-state batteries for the environment and the economy. The study claims that solid-state batteries could reduce the carbon footprint of electric vehicles by 65%, as they require less raw materials and energy to produce. The study also suggests that solid-state batteries could create a new market worth $25 billion by 2030, generating new jobs and opportunities for innovation. Should the formidable challenges associated with solid-state batteries be successfully navigated, there's a strong possibility that these innovative power sources will replace lithium-ion models across various applications by the year 2035. However, the transition is expected to unfold gradually, with an initial focus on high-end market segments due to constraints related to production volumes and higher costs. Porsche Consulting also expects that premium car brands will be the first to adopt solid-state batteries as they have more resources and incentives to invest in the innovation and development of the technology. Porsche itself is one of the leading car manufacturers that is exploring the potential of solid-state batteries as it has partnered with QuantumScape, a leading startup in solid-state battery technology. QuantumScape claims to have achieved a breakthrough in solid-state battery performance, demonstrating a battery that can charge to 80% capacity in just 15 minutes and has a lifespan of over 800 cycles. In addition to the automotive industry, solid-state batteries could also have a significant impact on the aviation industry, especially on the emerging market of FTOLs. FTOLs are small electric aircraft that can take off and land vertically without the need for runways. They're designed to provide fast and convenient urban mobility as they can fly over traffic and avoid congestion. They're also expected to be more environmentally friendly and cost-effective than conventional helicopters and taxis. In terms of cost, solid-state batteries will only be able to gain an edge over lithium-ion systems after 2030 when industrial production of the new technology picks up speed and further advances in material efficiencies are made. At that point, they will almost certainly have lifespans equal to or greater than their predecessor models. Despite arriving late to the electromobility scene, German car makers are now fully committed, announcing substantial investments amounting to billions of euros in new gigafactories. These state-of-the-art facilities are strategically geared towards producing the dominant power systems in today's electric car market, primarily lithium-ion batteries. Interestingly, approximately 40% of the existing machinery in these modern gigafactories is adaptable for the production of solid-state batteries. However, the shift is not merely a matter of machinery compatibility. It entails a comprehensive overhaul of processes and manufacturing methods. This restructuring is vital to ensure the efficiency of cell production. While some conventional processes can be retained, such as those involved in powder composition, coating, and calendaring, there's a need for the incorporation of additional steps.
This includes processes like lamination, as well as sintering and pressing. Notably, due to the unique material properties of solid-state electrolytes, a more extensive array of systems must be conducted in a controlled atmosphere. According to Professor Jens Lecker from the University of Munster, converting today's lithium-ion factories to solid-state battery production will require considerable resources because around 60% of the machines and systems will have to be replaced and the different production areas redimensioned. The future of solid-state batteries looks promising, but it will take a few years for researchers and developers to enhance their properties enough for industrial production to begin. However, solving these challenges doesn't mean the journey ends. The next step for the industry involves establishing supply chains for the new materials, and the existing ones for lithium-ion batteries won't be very helpful due to the significant differences in required chemicals. Ensuring a stable supply of crucial raw materials, especially lithium, is essential in terms of both availability and price. Solid-state electrolytes, a key component, contain up to 50 times more lithium per unit of volume than traditional liquid electrolytes. Taking all these factors into account, experts from Porsche Consulting anticipate that it might take up to two years for the supplier industry to construct its first plant for the necessary materials. The construction and startup of the actual battery plants may take even longer, with estimates suggesting at least two and a half years for this phase. The German carmaker also believes that optimizing the anode for an EV is another way to optimize it. Porsche currently uses graphite as an active anode material but is developing silicon anodes. It says silicon anodes offer up to 10 times more storage capacity and cells with fast charging capability could be charged from 5 to 80 percent in less than 15 minutes with these anodes. There is one issue with silicone anodes, however. The company notes that silicon particles expand by 300% when they absorb lithium, meaning that the service life of the battery would be impaired. Porsche is currently working on anodes made up of up to 80% silicon. Additionally, it is also undertaking intensive work to increase the proportion of nickel in the cathode, allowing for higher charging capacities. Porsche's efforts to improve the battery performance of its electric vehicles are part of its broader strategy to become a leader in the electric mobility sector. Porsche has set an ambitious goal of achieving carbon neutrality across its entire value chain by 2030. This means that Porsche will reduce its greenhouse gas emissions by 75% compared to 2019 levels and offset the remaining emissions by investing in renewable energy projects and carbon removal technologies. Porsche has also committed to increasing the share of electric vehicles in its product portfolio. By 2025, it expects that more than 50% of its new vehicles will be fully or partially electric. Porsche's flagship electric vehicle, the Taycan, has already proven to be a success, selling more than 20,000 units in 2020 and becoming the third best-selling model in its lineup. Porsche is also planning to launch more electric models in the coming years, such as the Macan and the Boxster. What do you think about this? Let us know in the comments section below.